In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use TechSmith Relay to record lectures or develop class presentations if you're a student taking classes online. This tool is available to all students and faculty at Cairn University. The directions to use this tool are located at the bottom of any learning page under for employees here using TechSmith Relay for video or for students under using TechSmith Relay for video. The idea is that you can create a presentation using a Microsoft PowerPoint or Google Slides. It's very similar to like in class. Next, sign into this cloud platform, cairnuniversity.techsmithrelay.com, and you log in there with your Cairn username and password, which I'll demonstrate in a moment, and then you use this tool to capture your presentation. You can do this as an instructor, or you can do this as a student in the case of group presentations. Then the cloud recorder captures the video and stores it. Then you'll copy the link to that video and embed it into the course in your e-learning site. So let's get started. We'll assume that the PowerPoint has been created and we have the PowerPoint ready. In this case, I have just the test PowerPoint here. The next thing to do is to go to cairnuniversity.techsmithrelay.com, click on sign in, either choose your existing Cairn account, or if you don't have your Cairn account, it doesn't show up, simply click on add account and then enter your email address and your password. Once you are signed into your account, you'll see here on the left hand side the option for launch capture. This is the tool that you'll be utilizing to capture your recordings or if you run into issues with the cloud recorder, you can go over here under the gear icon and download what's called the classic recorder. For the sake of time to make this video fairly short, I'm not going to go over the classic recorder uh, directions at this point. Let's suppose that we want to record our PowerPoint that I had created here earlier. We are going to click on launch capture on the top left and then the first time you need to download the plugin for the recorder. So we click here on download and then depending on what browser you're using, it's going to prompt you where you want to save this file. So this is very similar to downloading any file from the web. In some cases that file will show up uh, down here in the bottom left if you're using Chrome or if you're using Firefox, it's going to show up under the downloads options on the top right. Once it has been downloaded, you're going to double click on it and then run it. Now click OK here. And at this point, we can either relaunch this tool by clicking on the relaunch option, or we can go back to the previous tab here to our home account and then click on launch capture. Click on open with TechSmith Relay Recorder, this option. If you're using Firefox, there might be a pop up blocker over here and you need to make sure that these pop-ups are allowed. If you're still having issues, start the recordings or this process using a different browser. Now click on Open TechSmith Relay Recorder, and this is our recorder tool. Here we are selecting that we want to record the whole screen, and then we're going to use the Yeti microphone, let's say. This is the one that I have hooked up to this computer at this point. And then you can also choose to utilize the webcam. So you'll click on integrated webcam and then select the webcam. It's suggested that you utilize the webcam to make their lectures more effective, at least for presenting what you're going to cover in your lecture, and then you can move into the PowerPoint that you're going to cover. If you don't feel comfortable with having your face show up as part of your presentation, then of course you can uh, deactivate the video webcam option here. Now record system audio that it's going to capture like audio sounds from your computer. Let's say you are going to a YouTube page and you want to play a video, but yet you want to narrate it and explain uh, what's happening and such. The system is going to capture the audio from YouTube in that case. So I'd suggest that you leave that on. Next, before you switch to anything else, I would suggest that you bring up your PowerPoint or open it up or uh, have it open from before. However, you want to bring up your PowerPoint. So basically, we have not started the recording yet. We are simply preparing the environment for the recording. Now, let's suppose that we are ready to start recording. We need to click on record. Since we chose the camera earlier, it's going to start with the camera option. 
we need to click on record basically do a, an introduction for your presentation or for your lecture now notice on the right hand side here we have two buttons sometimes in some uh, platforms for example on Macs this might be somewhere else in the computer uh, notice you have the pause button here and also you have the turn off the webcam so this is what you'll utilize to turn off the webcam and switch to your presentation so you'll use on and off here on the right hand side and now the system will capture everything that you are presenting from your PowerPoint very similar to what you do in class notice as you are in PowerPoint and presenting you have these tools on the bottom of the screen where you can actually use the annotation tool and this is where you can highlight and annotate directly on your slides as you are teaching and demonstrating your uh, project now to advance the slides you'll simply press any keys on the keyboard or the arrows on the keyboard once you're done with your recording you can pause it here using the button on the bottom right and take a break if necessary or you can stop it completely once you stop it now notice it's going, it's going to give you a preview it, basically I would suggest that even though you may not decide to keep your recording go ahead and upload it and then at a later time you can create a new version and that way you have something to show for yourself for the time you spent with your recording so don't try to seek perfection but at least go ahead and click here on upload and this will upload it to the cloud platform click to go to the video and then you'd give a name for your lecture you can put notes in here as well if necessary and then press save at this point the video is ready for you to share with others and in your library so if we click here on my library now the video that I just recorded will be listed right here you might want to go to the privacy settings here and change this to public this means that as long as somebody has a link the URL to it they'll be able to access it as you share it with a link it doesn't mean that it's going to be searchable on the web now to share it and post it on your course page you can either copy the URL very similar to like how you copy YouTube video URL and such I'm right clicking choose copy here or you can go down here under share and then choose get link once you have the link for it click on copy and now you can go to your course page on e-learning and you can embed this either as part of your assignment so if I go here to assignment one and I choose edit settings and now I can paste it control V here simply press save and display and the students will be able to click on the video or on the URL here and it will take them to your video that we recorded on TechSmith Relay now the other thing that you can do once you are in Relay or in TechSmith Relay at your video notice that you have the option here to share this video and this is a more advanced feature but yet you can attempt it or try it if necessary you can get the embed code for this video so click on get embed code and I don't suggest that you use the dimensions that are recommended here I would say 640 by 360 are the optimal dimensions and then you click here on copy once it's copied you can go back to your course on e-learning and whether it is in the assignment settings or anywhere where you are using the editor as part of a forum or as any of the activities in e-learning you can embed the video so it will show up as part of that assignment as embedded into that page so if I click here on edit settings and then to embed that code you need to click on this HTML icon here in the editor and then just simply paste it in an empty spot just control V or however you paste your content and then you can either click the HTML code icon again here and it will display the video directly from TechSmith Relay into your assignment and this will show up like this in this case the students will be able to play directly from here without having to go to TechSmith Relay as I mentioned a moment ago of course you can go and embed those as part of a quiz part of a discussion by simply going into the discussion here clicking on edit settings and embedding that code or the URL in here or 
when you add a new discussion thread, you can post your link as part of your comments that you add for your discussions. And this is how students will present their projects typically in an online environment by going and adding a new topic and then posting the link that the, you get from TechSmith Relay in here as part of your content and then pressing post to the forum. Remember, if for some reason you're running into trouble with your computer to capture this content, you can also utilize a mobile device such as a cell phone by downloading the TechSmith Fuse app and follow those directions in here to use it in conjunction with TechSmith Relay in a similar way that I just demonstrated here.